on, Logan. Bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Alright, so now we're approaching the dorms. Oh, some construction. I wonder if that's an opportunity to have something fall down and I reverse time to fix it. I think those are the three- yep. There's the three girls we talked about before. There's the mean bitch from my class and the two that we saw outside in the hallway which were waiting for Victoria to come outside. So that's gonna be the, our mean girl posse that I don't really want to deal with, but they're in my way. So that's great. Rachel owns the money. Pay up, bitch. Don't take it out on the tree, loser. Okay. Oh, Rachel owes me money. My bad. Uh, she's- she might be dead? So, let's, let's be concerned about that. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. oh Hi, Max. Dude. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? No. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Alright, so she's reading a romance novel. Not really nothing to go on there. There's our- is that the creepy janitor? Dude. Should I try to fall- I don't really need to deal with the- oh! Who's this person staring into space? Nice! Kinda wanna- oh! Hey! It's the squirrel with the- I found the squirrel with the uh- with the soda can. Success. Alright, that's the only one I remember from that page now, so. Alright, that's successful now. Now that there's a picture of some man with a beard, a wall of photos. What was that? A. Oh, broken glass next to a football? A sunset, broken skateboard, RV, mirror, bird. Yeah, good. Make art, not more. Yeah, good luck to me getting any of those. It's gonna be hard to find everything. Oh, there's, there's Kate. Maybe we'll learn something about why she's so sad? There's Kate. Looking sadder than usual. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. Nice, bro. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Sweet! Okay, so yeah, she is not... She's not talking. Probably because she's in a bad mood. Probably... I'm still... I'm committing to my original explanation. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Yeah, I looked at a garbage can. I'm being overly completionist, apparently. Oh, he's someone else. Is this the nice janitor? Good old Samuel. Some people are creeped out by him. And he's not creepy, just X-Files weird. I like X-Files awesome. weird. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Ah, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward, like a clock. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Oh, dude! What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. See you later, Samuel. And watch you step around here, nice, Max. Bro. After I sweep, I paint. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little... Maybe X-Files weird isn't 100% of what we're talking about. Maybe a little actual awesome. creepy, too. <laughs> that was a little... That sounded a little bit on the tad of the murdery oh. side, unfortunately. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. I really yeah. hope he's not behind what's going on with Rachel, because that'd be a little too obvious, because he, he seems a little crazy. But, uh... Let's see. I wonder. I can almost see the one like art schools are pretentious, right? Like what if this is a pretentious art project to pretend to be missing for a while and print out a bunch of posters nice, as bro. a weird excuse of doing that. 
Anyway, let's let's deal with the mean girls. I obviously have to get past yeah. to continue, right? Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. No. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Oh yes, please tell me to get to have some Ooh. physics fun here. Can I grab this bucket of paint and just chuck it at her? Ooh, a ladder. What can I do with this? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. How do I hurt her? How do I how do I hurt her? She needs to be hurt. Sprinkler. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Oh, I need to end her. She needs to die. Sorry, no, no paparazzi allowed. She needs, to, she needs to die, she needs to die, she needs to die. I will end her. But what are we going to do? Please have... Gex? They, they accidentally connected that a bit too much. It's, it just looks like the number six, basically. Alright. Okay. Oh, that looks like an opportunity. That looks like I can potentially have fun with it. How do I get that paint bucket over there? None shall pass. Capiche? Are you making... Are you making Gandalf references? You're supposed to be the mean girl. What's your issue? Uh, I don't see a way to interact over here. Maybe if I... Oh. What if I'm supposed to get the drone? If I could fly the drone into it, I could probably do something with it. But I don't know if I can get control of the drone. Awesome. But I think these are the sprinkler controls. Can't reach them? Alright, let's head inside. I don't think I had access before, so there's probably a puzzle mechanic here. I must have missed something. I should rewind. Ooh. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Well then, let's use it. Can I not use it? Can't use it? Okay. There we go, buckets on the ground. Oh, tamper. We're gonna have some fun here. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's see if this works. I think I just damaged the handle, so it's gonna, go when I put it up there, it's gonna fall down probably. Come no. here, Samuel. Come here. No big deal, I just wanna, co I just wanna cover Victoria with my white fluids. Nice, yeah, bro. That's, that's the cheap joke I went for. Dude. Poor Samuel. I'm about to make your day a little worse, but it's for a good cause. Such a good cause. Sweet. The question is how do we get it from over there to over there? Yeah. We'll find out. God, you climb slatter. Once again, I wouldn't mind a fast forward option. I can only skip conversations. Please pan out. Please. Please drop on her ass. Shink. Yes. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost okay. ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. Alright, I, re I rewound even further back. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Yes. And now the fun happens. So what I was missing is I just had to rewind a little bit further back to trigger the, the uh... I had, to, I had to specifically get the water thing to happen before he gets awesome. on the ladder. And now we wait. Victoria? 
Samuel? Oh, Samuel, sorry. Dude. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Well, that I'm in a different spot because I had to redo something because the last time I showed you guys I had failed to do the actual bucket part, but... Okay. Yeah, all you had to do was let me through. This is what you get. See, unlike you, I'm going to walk around the paint to avoid walking into it. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Okay. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Ooh. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Yeah. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. I don't know. I see it as maybe a chance to... I don't know. I can manipulate all of my my relationships with people. I am God. Maybe. Or she's fucking with me and she's totally gonna treat me like crap right after this anyway. Taylor is a slave. Bored. HIV and AIDS warning. Uh... Missing backpack and tablet. To that bitch that stole my Franju new fast creme. <laughs> what the fuck? That was expensive shit and I need it and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates and I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. <laughs> what? Go Miss Grant. Not sure if I will though. I'm a loser. Don't let Big Brother watch you. An intrusive surveillance system could be installed by the end of the school year at Blackwell Academy. Members of the, f of the faculty and student council will hold a public forum to inform and discuss this important issue. Please come out. Please come speak out against this invasion of, pi of privacy. October 18th, 5 p.m., Student Center, Main Hall. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know if that's actually going to come out. I don't know, October 18th, that's, that's actually pretty close, so maybe, but... I don't know if that's going to come out as part of the storyline in this game, necessarily, but it's a good way of establishing the fact that there's no cameras to capture... Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. ...to capture any of the weird stuff I'm up to. I don't- I don't understand the mean girl situation. I don't know, I was never someone who was like a lackey to someone who was an awful person and like felt weirdly afraid of how they were going to react to things I did. So I don't really get it. Lots of slates about stuff, missing poster... Showers are open, but I can't go in them. What's this say? Be alert on campus. Observe the following tips for safety. Always be aware of your location. Always be a... Always let a friend know where... Okay, I can't do this cursive that well. Always let a friend know where you are and where you're going. Always report an incident immediately on, ca on campus authorities, which is what I did, and they didn't even fucking listen to me. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Uh, Geek Girls Book Club. Look for like-minded souls to reach and, dis and to read and discuss the authors Ursula K. Lagin, Robin Hobb, Neil Gaiman, Piers Anthony, Terry Brooks, David Calvo, Marion Zimmer Bradley, and the usual flying dragons shit. Actually, hey, I know who Neil Gaiman is. Not not ne everyone else necessarily. Uh, Although I'm bad with names in general, so that could be more familiar with some of the stuff than I think I am. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. No boys, period. Well, boys can't have periods. Thanks for the warning. Vortex Club coming soon. How do we end that? I already don't like it, and I don't even fully understand what it is. Can I just pull the fire alarm again? <laughs> At least that's an alarm from this century. Are we being condescending about the one that I used earlier? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. 
no one ever wins any toilet paper war. More boards. There's so much to read. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Uh, don't let depression keep you down. Lost phone. Statistics tutor uh, wanted help. It's been almost a month of stats, and I still don't understand. Is this math or philosophy with graphs? Help. We'll pay for if you get me an A. Help. Courtney W. Meet is still murdered. Join the Black Wolf Vegan Club. Ve veggie potluck. Every meeting. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, did it say draw? What that? Oh, I can draw on the board. Will bang Jesus. What? Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Well, then let's fix it, because I'm awesome. That's not really what I was going for. But okay, fine. <laughs> this game really wants me to, to remind me that stuff I do might come up later. I'm actually excited to see stuff like this come up later. If, it, if they stick to it properly, it could be good. I already read everything here. I could read more journal, but I think I'll pass for now. I'll, I think I might have the entire duration of the series to... Because it's five episodes long, I could probably go back and read the journal later, too. So let's just get into my, into my room. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Well, then let's fix that. Let's be our own Max. What are you doing, Max? Ah, oh, really? Obvious, but true. Max, just a, just a drawing of a sad person. Complacency, so vaguely binding of Isaac-like. Let's go get our flash drive. I know this has been thrilling content so far for you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Home I, sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I'm easily absorbed into these uh, into these games where you have. Uh, it's sort of a m mundane situation, but you get to explore and just enjoy something different. Although I guess I'm an, I'm an easy I'm an easy target for just games that feel different in general, just because of how much stuff we get that's just the same stuff again. But new text message from mom, exciting. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 16 whole years since we you that you were brought to us. Ex hugs and kisses. That was about two and a half weeks ago. Now the new message is saying, Max, your principal sent me an email saying you told some tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is that true? The principal says this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're telling stories. Call me as soon as possible so we can talk about this, Mom. Talk about this, Mom. Mom doesn't like punctuation that separates her, her uh, signature from her text message. Also, that might be too long of a message for an actual text. I don't think phones have text that long, but anyway. Uh... Looks like no matter what I do, Princess the pr the principal is going to be mad about either decision. So, this game's going to have certain elements of Walking Dead, where the uh, it, it sometimes sometimes it gives me real choice and, so, and sometimes kind of the illusion of choice, while everything kind of converges together regardless of what I do. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. There's the photo wall that I took myself a picture of myself in front of before. That was my the photo I was I thought of submitting, but then tore up in the bathroom. It, oh. I just realized the fact that there's no, there's no bed on this side, so this is a personal dorm room. That's kind of nice. I've always been exposed to the concept of it being like a, uh, you know, shared dorms in college. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the, with the greatest care for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you for on your taste and equal, equally eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren G. I admittedly, uh, I, d I went to college and finished, but I didn't. I, I never stayed at college. I just, I just went. I just commuted from home. So I, the. Uh, Dorm experience is foreign to me. Although I did have, I did spend one month. I did spend one solid month in a dorm, or a week of one month in a dorm during my final class in geology. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Hugs and kisses, D. Oh well, there goes the flex. Oh no. So she took my flash drive to watch something. Does she does she know what kind of stuff is going on there? Because she, she might be in for a surprise. Uh, also, that's that's exactly what I'm looking for, and someone took it. Who is D? Great. 
Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Dana? Is that a new person? Is she in my journal now? She is not yet in the journal, so we're, we're gonna meet someone new. She can't be the blue-haired girl because we've established that I don't know who that was. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. I gotta say, on the, uh, on, ho on howlongtoplay.com, it said that people beat this in two hours. I am apparently about to completely flatten their records and take way longer, because I feel like we still have a way, way to go, but I'm being thorough. There's a lot of shit to look at around here. I don't need to look at every book, though, and stuff like that. There's a limit to what I'll look at sometimes. Oh, there's a photo album. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Is it my photo album or like a- Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. Is it a store one? I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Okay, just random. I, I kind of wanted to look at a picture, but I guess we're just doing random nerding out. What's in the drawer? Dildo. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Excuse me? Who says best friends forever? Uh, besties, duh. Excuse Get your shit together. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. Dollar vinyl? You can't play vinyl on that, it's a CD player. Unless it has like a giant... No, there's no record player in there, is there? I don't think so. Art books, I've already kind of looked at art books. Oh, we can look out the window. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. The important thing is that she likes to have glass in front of her eyes. She should really look into to glasses to just sort of circumvent. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I'm calling it right now. You have to water this plant. <laughs> this action will have consequences. I'm calling it. You have to water this plant in every episode of this five-part series, or the plant's gonna die. And that's the consequences. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. That's the... Cheer. First of all, don't kid yourself, girl. You're, you're such a super hipster that you're never gonna get an HDTV. You still you just asked about vinyl. Trying to get a look at the instant film. There we go. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Apparently, you, apparently like analog cookies too. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Happy birthday, Maxine. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile... And your first smile... Oh, there's just no period. Oh, right. It's actually easier to read than the original one because it's less confusing. We'll never forget the day you were born and your first smile. It was love at first sight. It's your special day. We miss you and we're so proud that you're following your dreams. We love you, mother and father. Nothing special there. I can't help it. It's, it's not even particularly interesting stuff in some of these cases, but I just, I feel like I need to check everything out. It's not exactly pretty and pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. Oh, I don't get to change? Okay, let's go find Dana. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Ah, uh, this quest for a flash drive is getting increasingly complicated. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. All right, what's Answer going on now? What? Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? You oh, yes, Max. Ridiculous. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been oh, sexting God. with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? 
You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Ta-da! I'm gonna fix my problems. I'm gonna fix my problems. Alright. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. Hey, oh, Juliet, this is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. You are ridiculous. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max! God I I didn't damn do it, anything, Victoria. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Alright, well maybe I can just talk to Victoria about it. Is that an option? Can I go back outside? No need to go there now. No, let's talk to Victoria. Maybe I can set this maybe she would like What the hell? Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. No. Oh. So it's all a reference to the shining. Taylor is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. I need to find Taylor's room. Juliet, extreme reporter. Not I'm sorry, not Taylor's room. Uh <laughs> Uh, Victoria's room. Bathroom. That's the showers. Where do I find Vic That's the mean thing. Oh, Victoria's room. I could just walk in. This is kind of messed up. Oh, they, le they left it open because they ran in to grab towels. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Be the change you wish to see, Gandhi. Fuck you. Insufferable person. But maybe if I... Pl maybe if my I'm hoping my previous situation where I, I used will... At least let us, uh, not fight as much, just because, Jesus Christ, how do I fix her? I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. The Blackwell Totem, the spirits of the news since 19 1898. Is the Vortex Club a cult? By Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet, w Juliet, that's the girl I was just talking to. So she's, not, she's a writer. One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer nerds were dump dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was a cause for expulsion and even violence. Male students who wore earrings were, are, were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven for, from the peer pressure that every genera generation experiences. How ironic, then, that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what some students claim is an elitist cult. Or is it just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Clumber, Cl Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Well, I guess she failed because it got written, it printed out. But there we have reason for why she might be doing this. Because this is probably, this whole thing's probably fake. It's probably something she made up because she's a bitch. And that's probably her her reasoning. And she probably did it as revenge. Oh, oh. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. But I think this isn't, I don't think this is Victoria's. I think this might be Kate's tablet. Let's check. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Art Tech Boutique, create your future. Jump into the 22nd century with a Tezuka 3D desktop printer, design and produce your vision. Order today, prepare for tomorrow, $3,600. What, I don't know, this could be the girl's tablet or it could just be Victoria's tablet. There's no reason to expect otherwise, I suppose, yet. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Miss Chase, thank you for submission to the Croft ga Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Best, Amanda Croft, owner, Croft Gallery, Eugene, Oregon. Oh, she... There's an article about her being a cult member. There's, there, here's a rejection letter. So we're getting to see all the ways that she fails. 
she's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. All the staturing and the, uh, the I mean, the posturing and the money, uh, kind of a front for how all the ways that she's insecure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Victoria, Maribeth, Chase, friends, 857. You don't know that many people. No one ever knows that many people. They're always liars. Subscribers, 1,126. Endless day. I, I, I get annoyed with... Uh, followers are one thing, because that's just a thing if you get a fan base for some reason, but... I don't like when people have hundreds of like hundreds and hundreds of people on their Facebook friends list because it's it's just you you're not actually networking with those people. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Here we go. Evidence. Bitch down. Victoria Chase to Ch to Taylor Christensen. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw some nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass believed me, so dumbass believed me, so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn, XX. So pretty much exactly what I figured. So now, if I can get a printer of this, this would be great. But even so, I could potentially rewind. I'm probably I get I get the feeling the obvious thing to do here is I'm probably gonna get caught in this room, but I can probably rewind and fix the situation and also get the information out. So how busted am I right now? We're printing. Oh, it's a leaflet. Insp International photographer Mark Mark Jefferson local exhibition, Bean Hip Cafe, 2009. That's old. Bring this ad for one dollar off. It ended in two thousand nine, so four years ago. She's just, he's just cr she's just creepily keeping stuff about Mark Jefferson, the our teacher. Really obsessed. Okay. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much. How insecure. Who cares, bitch? That's okay. Way to go, girl. So yeah, not really redeeming herself at all. Where's the where did it print out? Did I miss where it was? There's so many things in this room I'm actually a little thrown thrown off. I need to pick it up, right? Laptop. Look. Book. Not what I meant to do. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Recollection. Images by Mark Jefferson. Was there a printer? Oh, there's the printer. I totally missed where it was somehow. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. It'll be- it'll especially be useful when I get trapped and caught here in a second. Here, uh, let's just get out quickly. And busted, right? Busted? Oh, no one there. No one here to catch me. Okay, well then let's just show the evidence and we're set. I thought- I thought we we're gonna get in some serious drama that I had to avoid with time travel powers. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. I was going to say how'd she know that I wanted it, but I guess that's like the number one reason I'd want to come over here, right? Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I'll chalk, I'll chalk up her knowing about the, me being here with a flash drive as just being an obvious assumption. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so y so you might not hate my dumbass forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I pushed out. 
If you need any money, let me know. X his hugs and kisses, Logan. That's not my business. Let's just grab the flash drive. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Whoopsie. I could rewind and make it up to her. Let's fix that real quick. Uh, yeah, when I was picking it up, I'm like, that looks a lot like a pregnancy test. Whoops. Thought it was the flash drive. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Let's get out of here before I get in trouble here. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Did she get an abortion? Is that what's going on here? Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. I wonder. I can be nosy and rude, but then use my time travel powers to make up for it. So let's push the rumor thing, maybe. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Let's have some fun. Vroom doom. Hey, Dana. Seriously. Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Well, Alright, that panned out well enough. I think I'll actually keep it that way. I thought, I thought that was going to turn, turn out way worse. Good lord. Dana really was on her own. Wow, so... I was able to get the information... I was able to get the uh, mutual understanding about the pregnancy down without doing the awkward, like... I picked up the uh, I picked up a pre pregnancy uh, pregnancy test and awkwardly got interrupted. Oh wait, I have the flash drive. That means I can go now. So where am I trying to meet Max exactly? Oh, I mean Warren. I'm Max. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take. On my way. Bye. That's a good point. That is one of the things that bugs me, is people keep t sometimes people keep texting me about just trying to get to where they are, and it's like, I get it, okay? I'm, more, I'm on my way. If you keep texting me, then I'm just gonna keep responding. Is that him? Fuck this shit! Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head! If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yay, she didn't get a concussion, and also somehow no one noticed that I have crazy time travel powers. Alright, well, photo opportunity. That's definitely one of the ones I remember. The football with the window. Making progress. Three out of ten. You might be you might be watching this being worried like, oh god, he's only 30% done with this game, but I'm pretty sure I'm just missing a bunch of, of photo opportunities. In fact, that one in the middle, that one on the far left looks like it's my photo wall, 
but I didn't have a photo opportunity when I was there earlier. Not sure what's going on there. I have a star icon on this page, but none of these individual pictures have stars on them? I don't know what's going on there. Did, did details change? I don't think any of these are new, but I also don't have any for the people I just talked to, which is weird too. Yeah, there's no more pages. I don't know what the deal is there. There's a there's a star to suggest that there's more I can I can t look at. I guess I'll just head out and look for Warren. Who's this guy? Zachary. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Oh, well then, fine. I'm done with you. Let's find let's find the uh, parking lot. The Prescott Dormitory. Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm. He is everywhere. He owns everything. You mess with the Prescotts, you get life. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Well, now I feel like a dick. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so... Did I, think, did I get a picture for it? Where's the pictures? Nope, didn't even count for a picture. Well, let's rewind. Over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Believe it or not, what I was actually going for is, uh... Can I run, run, go faster? There we go. That was my mistake. I, th I thought that I might have the opportunity to uh, use a picture as evidence, but they didn't really use that direction. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? I think I can live with that. Stand up for a friend, deal with Officer Dickhead. Mm -hmm.